Hey YouTube, today we're going to be comparing a couple of six hour pistols and both of these pistols here in front of us today are chambered in the Lord's Caliber 45 ACP and before we go any further with this I'm going to show you that neither one of these pistols have anything in them and they are clear and nobody can get hurt while watching this video. So what we have here in front of us is we have a 6 hour P220 chambered in 45 ACP and we have a 6 hour P320 chambered in also 45 ACP and we'll start off with the older one. This is what I like to call the more traditional 6 hour pistol and these have been around since the 70s and this is what everybody thinks of when they think of a 6 hour pistol. This is a double action, single action, alloy frame, all metal pistol. So this thing will operate in single action and it also operates in double action. And it is a hammer fired, all metal, single stack, 45 ACP gun. Now this magazine holds eight rounds in the, in the magazine and one in the chamber. So it makes it a total of nine rounds. This is a quite a hefty gun here. This is a full size gun and it's chambered in 45 ACP. Now the 320 is more of a modern look for Sig Sauer. Sig Sauer has always been known for their double action, single action metal frame guns. And this is the gun that got them into the striker fired game. Now this is a striker fired double stacked. But when I see double stack, this one holds nine rounds. I think you can get 10 round magazines for this thing too. Nine rounds in the magazine and one in the chamber and it is all striker fired. And got a really good trigger on it. And the frame is made out of polymer, just like most of the striker fired guns today. And it has a steel slide on it. So one of the things about the P320 is when they got into the striker fire game, boy did they ever. And they um, introduced this thing to, they entered it into the military contract when the military was looking to replace the Beretta 92 that had been around since like the mid 80s and stuff. They were getting a little dated and stuff like that. Sig Sauer threw this gun into the hat and it ultimately won out. It beat Glock and the other Beretta um, polymer guns and everything. This is the one that they chose to go with. I think it was more like more cost effective and this is a actual modular gun so you can remove this slide and take this whole fire um, control unit out and put it in a larger frame put a larger slide have a full-size gun right over here this serial number here is actually on the firing control unit this whole firing control unit <laughs> lifts out of this gun and this polymer frame you can buy these on amazon you can buy these slides and barrels and have them shipped right to your house. The actual trigger control group is the only part that you have to do the background check on to buy. The six hour is not not quite like that. It is more of a traditional gun that just breaks down with this takedown lever and breaks down very similar to a 1911. Very similar. It just, um, everything stays inside of it. You just clean the frame off and everything and barrel and everything comes out of the slide but they they're they're similar in a lot of ways folks but they're different in a lot of ways hammer fired gun and the 320 is a striker fired gun but i want to show you a quick look at two six hour pistols one of them more traditional been around a long time one of them a little bit more modern striker fired polymer frame gun both of them chambered in 45 acp both of them served their purpose. Both of them had their place in life. These things here are really good for carry because they're lighter, they're double stacked. They have a little bit more capacity. These things are more for like a home defense situation or an open carry or maybe a range gun. But any way you go, any way you look at it, six hours of top notch company to make quality stuff and you can't go wrong with anything made by Sig Sauer. But if you have any questions on either one of these two weapons, folks, I have very extensive videos on each one of them explaining all the features and everything. And 
I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have about either one of them. But anyway, folks, thank you very much for watching my video today, and you folks have a great day.